Coronary heart disease is a dangerous medical condition due to the narrowing and hardening of the arteries that supply oxygen to the heart. This can be definitively diagnosed with an angiogram, which requires expensive specialized equipment, such as an MRI or CT scanner. As with other medical conditions, a preliminary diagnosis can be made with simpler, cheaper, less invasive tests. The goal of the example in this chapter is to build a machine learning model that can predict whether or not a patient has heart disease, based on biometric and lab data. Such a model could then be used as a preliminary diagnostic tool, reducing the need for unnecessary angiograms. To build this predictive model, we use a data set where the measurements have been taken for numerous patients whose diagnosis has been confirmed with an angiogram. This is an example of a supervised learning problem, where the training data has a known correct answer. Because the response is discrete, yes or no in this case, this is a binary classification problem. In general, classification problems can have any number of response classes. For a medical diagnosis, the response could be one of several related conditions. An activity tracker could be trying to determine your activity, sitting, standing, exercising, from your movement. An automotive safety system might need to identify different kinds of objects in video images. Supervised learning problems have a definite, specific goal in mind. In the heart disease example, the goal is to accurately predict a patient's diagnosis. Achieving this typically requires multiple iterations of building and evaluating different models. This requires choosing the type of model to use, then training with your data. Once the model is trained, you need to evaluate its performance, typically in terms of how accurately it can predict the known responses. You can then try other models, either by changing the algorithm entirely or by making adjustments to the various parameters and options for a particular algorithm. Once the model is performing satisfactorily, it is ready to be used to make predictions on new data. This chapter focuses on this whole workflow. The next chapter looks at the details of the individual machine learning algorithms.